tonight. The other winners at the big game. After everyone weighed in on their favorite Super Bowl ad, the puppy and the horse trounced the rest. And so we wanted to know how did they do that? ABC's Nick Watt does the detective work. By a country mile, this one best commercial of the night. Just music and animals. No talking. None. A puppy and a Clydesdale are best buddies. The dog gets adopted, but the horse brings him home. But I hate to break it to you, it's not actually a true story. And they used eight dogs and 17 horses. Each was taught one trick. A horse was trained to nuzzle a stuffed bunny and a puppy was trained to do the same. With a lot of treats, they did it for real. By the way, they're advertising beer. The ads seem to be a bit more soft and fuzzy than they have been in the past. Absolutely. And this year, I think people really want to feel reassured about their country, their fathers, and even their animals. This is a time when people are really sort of insecure about where the economy is going. How do we know what played well? Because guys like Sean Muller at iSpot tracked everything. We actually have two of these um, uh, data war rooms set up. Logging every online view and social media comment, breaking them down, male and female, positive and negative. The number two commercial, another bud offering followed a homecoming hero. Much like the, the Seahawks, Budweiser's just dominated this game. And then there was Coke. For spacious skies. America the Beautiful, sung in multiple languages, spawned millions of tweets. Some outraged that the song wasn't all in English. And a lot of pride in a melting pot nation, including a tweet from the vice president. From patriotism to puppy dogs, the key to a winning Super Bowl commercial is less about pushing products, more about pulling heartstrings. Nick Watt, ABC News, New York. And we're so glad you were watching tonight. We're always here at ABCNews.com. Nightline, of course, will be here later. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow night.